Let us solve another get problem on formal language. Here is the problem. Which of the following definitions below generate the same string as L? So just look at this particular L. It is x to the power of n, y to the power of n, where n is greater than or equal to 1. That denotes that all the x will come in one chunk, all the y's will be coming in one chunk or block. And number of x will be same as number of y and in the given string x will come earlier than y will be coming and there will be no mixer of x and y. The x will be clubbed and y will be clubbed of equal number of x will come prior to y in the sentence. Okay, So that is my L. Now here they have given regular expressions and one production rule set. Okay, Look at the first one. E produces x, e, y or x, y. So I think this particular production rule ensures equal number of x and y in the terminal in the terminated string and also at least one x and at least one y has been assured. So that is why it is quite in accordance with this particular language. So we have done the same here in this particular answer. 1 that is that is a 1 number. So, 1 will generate strings containing equal number of x and equal number of y and obviously also at least 1 x and at least 1 y will be there and that has been ensured. But if you consider your regular expression number 2 and 3, it is true that we are having combinations of x and y, it is true but you cannot ensure that equal number of x and equal number of y will be coming in the terminating string. So that is not assured. So here we will be having combination of x and y's but equal number of x and equal number of y is not ensured. So that is why in 2 and 3 they will produce strings over x and y's for any number of that means for maybe for unequal number of. So that is also uh, the chances are there. So that is why so the answer is A because only A answer was telling that one was correct and other options are not valid. So in this way, these sort of problems can be answered. Thanks for watching this video.